Hello, this is the fourth problem of Need Code Weekly Contest 174. The name of the problem is Jump Game 5. So here we are given a question that in an array there are certain values and we are also given a value D. So basically we can make our jumps in such a way that that uh, if suppose if you are in index i so we can make our jumps to i plus x such that x is smaller than equals to d so for example if you are at an index say uh, 5 and d is given as 2 so we can make jumps from this position to two positions to the li uh, right and two positions to the left also there is another condition that if we make jump from a particular index i to either to the right side or to the left side then the values falling on the left should be smaller than i and the values falling on the right should be smaller than the value at i so for example if you are at an index uh, suppose if you are at fifth index and if d is given out to be 2 then we can make two steps jumps either we can jump here or we can jump here and we can jump here or we can jump directly to this point now what we cannot do is suppose we are at uh, this index index 4 so we can jump to the left side because left side is smaller than this uh, left side is smaller than the current height but we cannot make a jump to the right because the right uh, side the height is greater than that of the current height so if the question is clear it is very uh, easy to implement it as it is a recursive problem and we have to do exactly what the question says so what we are going to do is we are going to start from every index and then try to go right and left as stated in the problem statement so for example if you are starting from an index i and we will start actually from each and every index so suppose uh, we are starting from an index i so we will try to move to all the positions from i plus 1 to i plus x and from i minus 1 to i minus x of course these values these they should lie within the range of the array so this should be greater than equals to 0 and this should be smaller than equals to n minus 1 where n is the size of the array. Now we can try to code this problem in a recursive manner. So for this we will create a helper function. This will be our recursive function. and this will be our index from which we are starting or which uh, we are currently on so we are initializing our answer and n is equals to array dot size now we will be moving to the right side for int j is equals to i plus 1 j is smaller than equals to minimum of i plus d comma n minus 1 
because we should not exceed the limit of the array. Now there is another condition which we have to handle that array of i this should be greater than array of j. So as soon as we come to an index which is greater than or equals to the current index from which we are going to jump we should break this loop. Your answer is equals to answer maximum of answer comma. We will again call this function. Here we are passing j as a parameter because now we are at an index j. Now similarly we will go to the left side. Here we will start from i minus 1 and j is greater than equals to 0 and i minus d array of i is greater than array of j j minus minus answer is equals to maximum of answer comma help array d and j okay now we need to return answer here also we are initializing answer and we will try to go we will try to start from every index so answer is equals to maximum of answer comma help of array comma d comma i and then we will return answer It is showing a heap of our overflow. Okay, this is actually maximum. Here we should pass one plus. I'm sorry actually here we should pass one plus it 
it is giving us the correct answer. Okay, so the time limit got exceeded. So now we need to optimize this approach further. So for the optimization here we can have a look that suppose we are finding we are trying to find the answer for index 8 and we successfully did that so the answer for it, uh, index 8 is 1 2 2 jumps so this is the answer for index 8 i'm sorry the answer for index 8 is actually 3 so it is covering three indices taking two jumps so this is the first index it is covering this is the second index and this is the third index so the answer is 3 now suppose if we are trying to calculate answer for let's say the 10th index and we try jumping to the 8th index now answer for the 8th index which was already calculated we will be calculating it again so which will increase the complexity of the solution so instead of calculating the answer again and again we can try storing the answer in a dp array so we can do a top down dp approach here so instead of recalculating answers we can store our answers for example the answer for index 6 is answer for index 6 this index is 2 we can only make two jumps we cannot go to the left side because this height is greater than this we can only move to the right side and that also to the index 7 only we cannot move further because the height increases the 8th index is greater than the 6th index so we can only move to the 7th so the answer is 2 now the 7th index the answer is because it is being hindered from both the sides it cannot either move to the li uh, right or to the left so the answer for index 7 is equals to 1 now the answer for index 8 this can be calculated by okay suppose if we jump to the uh, left side on the 7th so the answer for 7th is 1 so the answer for 8 8 will be 2 if we jump to the 6th index the answer for 6 is 2 so the answer will become 3 so we will not have to calculate the answer for 6 once we are jumping from the index 8 to the index 6 the answer is already stored there so the answer will become the answer of 6 plus 1 that is 3 now suppose we are in index 9 so the answer for index 9 is 1 because it cannot make moves to the left or to the right the answer for index 10 this can be calculated by going left so if we go left uh, to the index 9 the answer for index 9 is 1 so the answer will become 2 for 10 if we move to the index 8 the answer for uh, index 8 is 3 so the answer will become 4 which is greater than 2 so the answer for index 10 will be 2 so here we here we can note that we are using the indexes again and again so we use index we can, once we calculate index 10 it will be further used it is getting further used in the indices such as 10 and furthermore it could be used so we can instead of recalculating it we can try storing them So here what we can do is we can have a dp array so what are the limits given limits for n is 1000 so we can the array could be of size this is the maximum size of which we can you know we can have a array so we initialize this with minus one now we will pass this as a parameter or what we can do is we can simply create this dp here and then initialize it here now we will not have to pass this in this now 
if we have already visited this ith index that is if it is not equals to minus 1 then we will simply return dp of i else we will return dp of i is equals to answer Okay, now we are getting the correct answer and it is not given clearly because we are here storing the answers in our DP array. So if we talk about the time complexity of the solution, basically it is we are calculating for each index i and then we are moving to the left side and to the right side by d positions so it will be the space complexity will be of uh, big o of n and the time complexity will be big o of n multiplied by d 